Here we go. Today we're talking about translating figures and using vectors. Okay? So, translation theorem. Alright? A translation is an isometry where you take an original triangle and we are moving it a certain distance, point B to B prime, A to A prime, and C to C prime. And the distance from those points to the respective new image is the same. All right, it's being moved the same amount. So that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle A prime, B prime, and C prime. Okay? So the two triangles are congruent. It's simply being moved or translated, all right, a translation. It's being slid from one point to the next the same distance. Okay? And as well as direction. All right, another way to describe a translation is by using a vector. A vector is a quantity that's both direction and magnitude. Magnitude means size. All right, a vector is represented in the coordinate plane by an arrow drawn from one point to another. All right, so going from point B to point B prime, there would be a line with a direction, an arrow, going from B to B prime. Same from C to C prime and A to A prime. Okay? Now here's talking about vectors. All right, component form. All right, we're written here. Use brackets to write the component form of the vector R S R comma S. All right, use parentheses to write the coordinates of the point P Q. All right, so the point. So when you're writing a point, you use parentheses. When you're talking about a vector, you use the brackets. All right, so you got to know the difference. Or what are we talking about? Are we talking about a point? We should be using parentheses then. If we're using, if we're talking about a vector, we should be using brackets. Okay, so the diagram shows a vector named vector F G, and that's how we read it, vector F G, here, this green vector. The initial point is point F, the terminal point where you end is point G, so initial point, terminal point, where you start, where you end. Um, you have a horizontal component, so from point F, how am I going to get to point G, what's my map? Alright, so I'm going from point F, my horizontal component is five units to the right, and in math, when we, so, when we talk about right, we associate that with positive numbers. And then three units up to get to point G. And again, up, we associate with a positive number. And that's the vertical component. So you got horizontal and vertical components. So the component form for vector FG here, all right, the component form for vector FG combines the horizontal and vertical components, the five and the three. And we write it in those brackets. Bracket, 5, comma, 3. So you put the horizontal, the run, and the rise. All right? So we have two vectors here. We're going to take a look here. All right? We're starting. The initial point is point B. And our horizontal component, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. All right? So the horizontal component is 9. The vertical component here, we are going down two. All right, going to the right nine, and we're going down two. So in math, when we go down, we associate that with negative, negative two. Okay. So the component form of this vector, all right, name the vector. We have vector B C, initial point to terminal point. All right. So it's vector B C. And the component form is 9, negative 2. All right? Number, letter B here. Vector S, T, the initial point to the terminal point. Vector S, T. All right, it looks similar to the ray symbol, except for we don't draw the double arrow. We just put the one side. So we're talking about, we know we're talking about a vector versus a ray. Now, horizontal component. We're going from point S, the initial point, to the terminal point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we're going to the left. And in math, when we go to the left, we associate that with a negative. So negative 8, comma. Do we rise at all? No, we don't. So that's 0. Negative 8, 0. That tells me it's a horizontal vector. All right. All right. Now, the, the vertices of triangle ABC are 0, 3, 0, 3, that's point A. Point B is at 2, 4, so 2, 4, there's point B. And point C is at 1, 0, so 1, 0, there's point C. So we have this triangle, all right, 
Now, translate triangle ABC using the vector 5, negative 1. All right, so we want to move horizontally 5 and vertically negative 1. So we're going to the right 5 and we're going down 1 for every single point. So for point A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and down 1 point. There's our new point, so that's A prime. B, 5, negative 1, 5 to the right, down negative 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down negative 1. There's point B, or B prime, excuse me. And then lastly, point C, 5 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and down 1. And there's point C prime. Okay. So, I translated triangle ABC by using the vector 5, negative 1. Alright? So, this is actually the vector that we used in the black. There's the vector. It is the same vector. It has the same direction and the same magnitude for all three points. Okay? Here are four problems I would like you to try for tomorrow. Name the vector and write its component form for RS here, TX, and BK. And then we, I want you to translate triangle LMN, 2-2-5-3-9-1. And we want to translate it using the vector negative 2, 6. All right? So please try these four problems for tomorrow. Thanks a lot.